welcome to Warhammer Joey with me, Nick from Worthy Painting. This is a store in Preston, all the way up here, lots of floors. And uh, let's have a look at the window display. Oh wow. <laughs> that is a lot of models. A lot of painting. A lot of painting. <laughs> the window display. Oh, there's loads of demon when it's in this window, like Dan Twist, Golden Demon from last year, but it's this guy. Now we've got the front of the stuff. So my first impression of Nick's store, you can see people were pretty much queuing up to get in, was just how much stuff they had. They're, these games I've never even seen before. Um, and yeah, I was just really impressed with everything that he'd managed to do there. I later found out that this is some of the terrain for Drop Zone Commander which uh, looks amazing just, just there on the table. And the different game systems that are not just there in the store, but fully stocked. So you can see the actual range of stuff. Um, yeah, there's some of the Drop Zone Commander bits and pieces. And they even look really lovely. I mean, I've, been, I've had my eye on relics for a, for a couple of weeks now. And so just to see everything there in the starter sets, I picked up one while I was in the store. Um, I can, I've never seen so many Malifaux boxes before and yeah I, I loved I loved just walking around the place and you know a few people gave me a wave and a smile and the staff were really friendly and I think I pinched about six lollies over the course of the day which you can see people eating and yeah just I mean everywhere you look there's stuff there there's there's no space unused in, in this place and just through here there's a painting station, a display cabinet and you know it's really well put together. I'm here in Nick's stall, excuse the noisiness. I'm on the second floor and it's a busy, busy day. Uh, I'm all dressed up, caffeinated. Uh, I've just been talking to Gavin from Tall Gaming. There's a gaming room over here. Behind me is some relic stuff. And yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's still quite early in the day and it's heaving. It's so busy. Um, I've just had a chat with Nick and I'm going to see if he's free. going to do an interview with Gavin from Tall Gaming and then um, talk about Drop Zone Commander and see just chat to people, look at games and, and just have a, have a good day and see what's going on. It's, it's awesome. I'm so glad to be here. It's a beautiful shop. So yeah, I'll update you very shortly. And here's a sneak peek with me and David from Drop Zone Commander. I'll be uploading the video in a playlist of the Worthy Painting store opening. He was a really awesome guy who put in so much effort, three years of solid work into this and you can really see the effort. And that'll be up soon. And here's me and Gavin from Tall Gaming's Relics, where we have our chat and he gives me some exclusive insider details to what's coming up next with his project. This is the wall that was done in, uh, in Nick's store. It's really awesome. Now I'll show you around some of the display cabinets and my interview with Nick. It's all right. 
you remember Pure what relics. I used to sleep oh, yeah. I used to sleep one in three days. It's all the relics got out of the top. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. They'll, they'll like it all out and I'll still awake. This is all the models from the boxes. Yeah, play Minecraft on the It's pretty awesome, man. They're amazing. I love them. This is what you can get to in a moment. That's the Deep Wars box art. This yeah. the big terrain. Right, let me close it so you get better better view of going on inside. Look at that. Oh, this is awesome. It's really awesome. Isn't it? The lighting is really effective on it as well. It's that it spotlight stunning. perfect, isn't it? All the little glow, like, well, she's made it, so it's like a glow effect from, from Cthulhu. It's amazing. Yeah. There's the Princess Malia from the box art for Soda Pop. Oh, you showed me this. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. How's it going so far? It's amazing, man. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot it's of people It's got that upstairs. atmosphere that, like, we used to have. Yeah, yeah, the gaming, yeah. The gaming room upstairs is massive. I, well, I was up there before and I was going to sign up to Red Steel and I, I waited for about 10 minutes and there were so many people also waiting to sign up. I went, you know what, I'll come back later. <laughs> Ben's a mate, he'll keep me a number. <laughs> yeah, he me. Hello, I'm here with Nick from uh, Early Painting. The Face. The Face, yeah, that's what I call myself. <laughs> Do you call yourself The Face? The Face or The Boss. The Boss Man. The Boss Man. No. So, first day. Epic day. Happy day. As you can tell now, you know, my, my words may be slurred throughout the conversation. Not because I'm drunk, it's just because I'm exhausted now. We were up painting until about four o'clock in the morning, trying to get a dark engine set ready, which will be a video for coming up. I have a little plug there. Oh, <laughs> smooth. That's cheeky. cheeky now, I've been doing videos for a while now, Joe. I've got smooth transitions into getting into You're better plugs. than I am. Yeah, I've been working on it. <laughs> So, well, I wasn't there at the very beginning because my train was delayed. Yeah. But what happened when you first opened the store? Basically, we were down downstairs. Well, me and John pulled up outside, and there was about fifteen people waiting outside at about about twenty to nine. And I was a bit like, wow. So we just pretty much said, come on in. We just lifted up the door. There was no epic cutting of tape or anything. You know, I wasn't gonna. I was gonna get a large bottle of champagne and throw it against the building. <laughs> But the council said no. <laughs> <laughs> so, now we've had lot, lots of different people. We, there's, the, the thing with Preston is there's a lot of gaming groups sort of dotted around the area. The Red Steel as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's the Red Steel. Uh, there's the Ribble Warriors, Cellar Boys, uh, Chorley and Couple Knights, or CAC for short. Yeah, good name, good name for it. So, you know, there's a, and a few other the smaller gaming clubs have come up from historical wargaming and all the various other things. It's just so awesome to walk in and see because, you know, I've been around in the community of wargaming in Preston for a while and just seeing so many different people turning up and it's really quite inspiring just to see the diversity of wargaming, you know, rather than just everything being 40k, meeting historical guys. It's so interesting to see the different the different mindset of a gamer going into various different games. It's amazing. And we had uh, Dave from Drop Zone Commander and Gavin from, from Relics and oh, they have been absolutely jam-packed busy all day. Yeah, they've the been swamped, swamped down there. I walked into the room, uh, Gavin's been busy doing sort of demos of Relics. Uh, I saw him, I think you had a little nosy on in there as I well. Did. I, did. I saw him teaching people how to play the game in there and it was just phenomenal. It's always good to see the sort of inside mind of the sort of writers of the games and stuff like that to actually play and learn from the people. I know pretty much everyone's been going around with a piece of paper after <laughs> after David from Hawk War Game just asked so what can I make with my army be extra filthy? He's so, been telling them. Yeah, I know, yeah. Watch sure. out. Watch out. If you come across any red steel Preston games playing drop zone, you are gonna get ruined. <laughs> <laughs> you are gonna get ruined. He's been on it. So yeah. He's lovely though, and he did all of that pretty much himself. Yes. Well, you, you've been chatting to him, and literally the guy for the past three years has been locked away in a room, you know, pretty much building, designing, trying to create his own game. And, and what he's created is unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. And, it, and the time and effort he's put in really shows through the quality. The rule book, every page is colour. And for a first ball game, the majority nowadays, you don't really see that sort of thing. The production value, 
is just sky high, very, very impressive. Same with Gavin as well. Gavin, you know, really the sort of working with us, the direction, this sort of stuff taken, it's gone very shiny. Yeah, he's, they've both been really nice and they've taken the time to sit and um, away from their demo games and just chat with me for a little bit about the basics of their game and I've got some secrets from Tool Gaming. Wow. I can't I'm going to tell challenge you. you to a game of relics because I don't know if anyone knows this but the, the tannins, I pretty much got my own. <laughs> Fortunately enough, I, I, I know the painters who've been painting the relic stuff so I managed to like sneak myself in a little oh. Britannian army. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's absolutely stunning. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'll give That's you a awesome. go, yeah. Well, then I have to do something different to Brantanans. I'm going to start painting them up first. What did you call them then? Brantanans? Brantanans. No, Brantanans. 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 Right. What does that remind me of? I don't know, like an American accent saying Britain. I think I might have heard yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching too many YouTube videos. <laughs> been making too many YouTube yeah. videos. <laughs> no. So yeah, I've, it's just been amazing to walk around. David, I can't believe, you know, since the release of this game, he hasn't really left his office. He's been so busy with the demand of the game, trying to get it out to the manufacturers, to the, the not manufacturers, to the sort of uh, wholesalers, and just to stores all over the place. And, you know, for him to take the time out to come all up, can't thank him enough, it's really... It's made you know an already great day just even more epic. The same with Gavin as well, taking his time yeah. from like you know designing all of this shiny relic stuff to come on up. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I'm gonna get some secret sketches from of course you. Projects. And of course you, Joe. You know, travelling all the way up, all the way. Up. Yeah. Had to. Had to, got to be here for this. Like it's huge, and it's and loads of people have been talking about it, and I've been talking about it for ages on stuff like news stream videos. Yeah. That um. I mean, you got delayed a little bit. You were planning to do it in August. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was going to be a few months ago, but it wasn't. Well, you've seen the size of the building where you probably got. Yeah, it's huge. So, you know, five we, story. Five stories. Yeah, five story old sort of like Georgian building with like old feet. At night, it's creepy. No, it's not. <laughs> What's the plan for the rest of our day? What are um, we do? Wow, well, I don't even know. Hopefully, sell more stuff. I shouldn't say that. I should know. <laughs> but. I mean, yeah. for the first day, you want to have like an awesome figures and the amount of people that have been in and out all day. Oh, it's been it's been amazing. Right, right now I think uh, David's doing more. De he's actually moved to demo game because before he's doing a question and answer. David's now demo gaming downstairs, and that's pretty awesome to watch. A big sort of like group around there. Gavin's finished his demos and just going to do a bit of question answering now. Um, <coughs> Later on this evening, we're going to try and, like, you know, everyone's going to be getting this stuff out of the building. I can already see in downstairs we've got, like, uh, a full sort of painting bar station thing set up, and I think that's already getting covered with stuff that people can buy. And it feels like like a mini little games day for Preston coming out, you know. It feels, it feels like lots of gamers that, I've, like, some people I haven't seen for ages because they've either fallen in and out of the hobby and disappeared, and they've got, like, you know, a new fire for the game. Which is very true, you know. I've been down there and seen them all just getting painted again, and it's, it's pretty awesome to see your friends coming back to it, you know. And that happens a lot, you know. People with this sort of hobby, you fall in and out of it at times, and you know, something like this to bring them back in is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, talk me through layer by layer, every floor, what have you got going on? I mean, we've got downstairs is the main shop, and it is fully stocked. Yeah, fully stocked. Down there, we've got uh, what we're doing, we've got all the intro gaming. And we're also be doing sort of painting demos. That would just be start painting, not work painting. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got all the intro stuff, and the, so if you come in, you can pretty much. There's a six foot gaming table set up all the time just for gaming, and then there's three little intro boards, mm -hmm. and then you can go upstairs to the first floor. Uh, on that floor, we've got uh, two quite large gaming rooms. We've got the main gaming room, which can be like kind of busy night. We get six six foot gaming table, six by four gaming tables in it. And then we've got uh, another smaller room that can get three, three six foot. And then you go up another room, another floor, there's another couple of gaming rooms which can hold another three or four sort of gaming tables in there as well. Awesome. And that's just the gaming side. Then, once you start coming up a couple more levels, we've got uh, my office, you know, got a boss written on the door. No, nothing's really turned up in my office, but then we've got. Uh, We've got the painting room where Dan and Kate, I think you're going to get an interview with Dan at some point, and Kate. Golden Demon winner. Yeah, yeah. Four times. Four, four time winner, as well as Al as well. We'll probably get a few words with him and just 
sort of pick their brains as well, and Kate as well. Uh, they've been working on a lot of the box art for you know various companies. We've got the Antimatter Games, which uh, Wendy Painting is the official painting studio of. As Congratulations! Well as, thank you, thank you. I'm just about to reel off a few now. Now, for crack on, crack on. No, uh, we've got uh, Soda Pop Miniatures. Yep. We we're official painters, so they they do like Super Dungeon Explorer, and they've just got a Kickstarter out for a new game called Relic Knights. Yeah, which is very anime style. So if you're into sort of anime, perfect. You know. I know like Dan who's been painting the relics and Kay, they love anime, so they proper like love painting their models. And then we've got Antimatter Games, which is Deep Wars, which is sort of like the underwater. The thing with the underwater is very artistic, you know, it's uh, Is that the setup with the blue that you Yeah, got yeah, I think you've probably got it. It's got it's like a big temple, it's in the cabinet downstairs, big temple. Are all of the ones that you do as Worthy Painting all in that big initial cabinet? Yeah, pretty much all everything that's on the store now, Worthy Painting is painted just everything on the store. I was literally on the build up for this, you know, we've had to really, really, you know, with the projects we've been going on with as well, get on with some stuff. So we've got stuff for the opening as well. So it's been, been a crazy couple of months and yeah, there's been delays on projects, which haven't always been great, but you know, we've come to the end now and it feels great. <laughs> we've managed to get there and it feels worth it when you walk downstairs and you see like, We've got, we're in the town centre of Preston as well, we're right in the city centre, so we've got passing traffic, a lot of it, you know, a good lot of footfall. If you've, well, you've been down there, you've seen it, like a lot of people going past, and we've got two big window displays. Yeah, and just, huge! I don't think I've seen one person walk past and just go, like, every single one, every single person I've seen just stops and has a good look. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you can just see it pointing and a few different bits. It's, it's just awesome to see that. People are probably not even into it. Stop in, look in, think what's that? Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So it's definitely worth it. That's been our big thing now. I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah, you've had some massive interest and you've had constantly people outside the shop just yeah, looking yeah. in. Yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. A lot of atmosphere down there as well. So I've seen people sort of just wander in from just having the nose in the windows. You know, we've got a big, uh, later on today as well, the Impressing, we've got a big sort of carnival guilt procession thing going oh, on. Yeah. So you know, there's the roads being closed off the front. Big carnival. <laughs> people are just going to Yeah, yeah, just up. like thousands of people just coming past, having a look, and we've got big window displays. Some might say we planned that. Some. Some. Some might. Some might say no. So you know, after all the hard work, especially you know, we've got eleven painters working here now. And just you know, everyone jumping in, you know, the hours that some of the guys are putting have been astronomical. You know, like I said, being here till like four in the morning and then getting up at seven to get here for the opening has been pretty crazy. So, what are your opening hours for the store? Uh, pretty much, our goal is to open from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. every day. Every day. Except for weekends, which on a Saturday and Sunday, because UK law, you have to shut up like six. Mm -hmm. But you know, weekends people generally do stuff for family. But the aim is we, we, we've got like various different gaming clubs. Or if you guys are local and you want a gaming night, you know what I mean? You can contact us at the store. Uh, I'll, make sure Joey, I'll, I'll make sure Joey gets the info to put in the thingy. In the thingy. So, you know, if you, if you want to come down on a gaming night or if you're into something, you want to come and demo it. Because, you know, there is a large community for various different games, but the only way a game will grow from what we've been like looking into is if we get people supporting it, you know, volunteers coming in to demo it and sort of stuff like that. We've had loads of offers from people today, various different games they've been talking about saying, we'll come down, we'll do some demos and see if we can pique some interest. And that's how the community in gaming grows, you know. Mm. It's the support of the community, you know, the stores supporting the clubs, and then, you know, in turn, the clubs supporting the store. It's, it, that, that's, what we're building, you know, and it feels, you know, it's a very personal thing like, to have a store like this, you know, because I've got a lot of friends in it and it's very personal to me. And so I really want to see something different from a gaming world. You know, as you, as you see from the store, we've not just set up a store for me and a few mates just to get cheap product. You know, we set it up to build the bigger community, to the bigger picture of gaming. Yeah, it's you've done an amazing it, job. Take, thanks, Jim. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. You know, Games Workshop have done a phenomenal job for years getting gaming stores at the forefront. You know, you can go in the UK particularly, you can go to any city, you know, Jay, you know there'll be a Games Workshop somewhere. Yeah. You know, but there's nowhere else, like in most sort of cities and towns, it's very rare to find an independent, you know, trying to sort of like 
build the other games which need it. You know, there's there's some phenomenal games out there, and if you know if stores aren't supporting their local communities, schools, and stuff like that, the games aren't going to grow, and it will just fizzle out, and it will constantly just be one major product, which isn't a bad thing. But you know, competition and you know other gaming is variety is to like that's what yeah. I'm getting to. You know, and. I know you, you've got like five or six different games that you're getting into. You've got 40k, you've got Warhammer, you've got Malifaux, you're getting into Relics, you know, and there's very probably, you know, now you've got the Bojo, there'll be hundreds more games. You've got, I want to do that. I want to do that. I, I, can, so I, can see, I can see you iron up some stuff downstairs. So. I love that, that display that you have with the underwater, with the antimatter. D yeah, antimatter game. Oh, it looks but, so good. The way it's displayed as well is pretty much good. Yeah, it's, it, like I said, it's very an artistic look. It's very unique and look. It, it's done yeah. beautifully though. Yeah. So thanks for chatting with me, Nick. Not at all, Joe. Thanks for coming out. Let's go and play some games. You know what I mean? We're wasting time. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye, these. The Nurglings. They guard the toilet. The day is drawing to a close, and these are some of the guys I've been chatting to. Uh, I take this opportunity before I leave to buy myself some things. So for my 40k episode this week, I've got my battle force and my doom size, some relics, which I'll be doing very soon, and uh, I enjoyed it. My day at Worthy Painting Store is over. I'm going to go back on the train while it's still light and safe with all my Necron stuff. I've got my battle force, I've got a doom scythe, I've got the missing part of uh, the relics starter set of the new Eam stuff and uh, some ogres that I'm going to pirate up with the remainder of the Titanforge bits and pieces that I've still got lying around. So, it's been very productive, lots of fun, met some people, interviewed some people, and uh, yeah, it was really nice to be here. I've been very well looked after. Thank you, Nick. You've been nice to me. Um, so yeah, if you're ever in Preston, give it a visit. There's loads of stuff to do, loads of different gaming systems, and everyone's really welcoming. The painters have been nice and chatting about all day and uh, yeah, I've had loads of stuff to do. It's nearly six o'clock so I'm going to make my way home, have some dinner and get an early night because I'm that boring sometimes. Goodbye. So after a long day I pretty much forgot to pick up the camera for most of it as I kind of zombied around the building. Are you filming me while I'm filming you? <laughs> Wow, this is proper. The YouTube will just shut down now.